हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फिक्स्ड एक्सचेंज रेट्स इन अ फिक्स्ड एक्सचेंज रेट सिस्टम फॉरेन सेंट्रल बैंक्स स्टैंड रेडी टू बाय एंड सेल देयर करेंसीज एट अ फिक्स्ड प्राइस इन टर्म्स ऑफ डॉलर्स इंटरवेंशन हाउ डू फॉरेन सेंट्रल बैंक्स intervene or how do central banks intervene in the foreign exchange market under a fixed exchange rate system foreign central banks hold reserves reserves means inventories of dollars other currencies and gold that they can sell for dollars so foreign central banks hold reserves to sell when they want to or have to intervene in the foreign exchange market they hold reserves to sell when they want to or have to intervene in the foreign exchange market so basically intervention is the buying or selling of foreign exchange by the central bank it is the buying or selling of foreign exchange by the central bank on one side we have united states and on the other side we have japan let's assume that in case of united states there is a deficit in their balance of payment okay so we have assumed that there is a deficit in balance of payments of united states what does deficit means deficit means that their imports are greater than their exports so basically imports from japan are greater than exports to japan when we are saying that imports greater than exports it means that the demand for japanese currency that means the demand for yen is greater than the supply of yen because import is directly linked to the demand for foreign currency and export is directly linked to the supply of foreign currency so if imports from japan are greater than exports to japan it means that demand for japanese currency that means the demand for yen is greater than the supply of yen is this thing clear okay now if there is a deficit in bop in case of united states then in case of japan there will be surplus in bop deficit of one country is another country's surplus okay so there will be a surplus in bop in case of japan it means that their exports are greater than imports exports to united states are greater than imports from united states the concept is really simple because their imports are directly linked to their exports right and their exports are linked with their imports i hope this concept is clear okay now when their exports are greater than their imports it means that the supply of foreign currency that means the supply of dollars are greater than the demand for dollars exports directly linked to the supply of foreign currency and imports directly linked to the demand for foreign currency clear now as you can see that the demand for yen is greater than supply of yen and supply of dollars is greater than demand for dollars so basically there is a disequilibrium now we have to achieve the equilibrium exchange rate at a fixed price okay the question is which central bank will intervene in the foreign exchange market to achieve the equilibrium exchange rate at a fixed price to maintain a credible exchange rate which central bank will intervene in the foreign exchange market first case the bank of japan could buy dollars in exchange for yen this can be one of the possible solution that the bank of japan could buy dollars in exchange for yen or the other solution can be the federal reserve that means the central bank of the united states could sell yen in exchange for dollars so basically the federal reserve can use 
its foreign exchange reserves can use or 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 can sell yen in exchange for dollars so basically it is using its foreign exchange reserves now this can be uh so so uh, so these can be the possible solutions both these solutions will lead to a common conclusion whether the bank of japan intervene in the market or whether the federal reserve intervene in the market both these solutions will lead to a common conclusion and that conclusion is the supply of yen will be increased and supply of dollars will be decreased whether the bank of japan intervene in the market or the federal reserve intervene in the market both these solutions will lead to a common conclusion that is the supply of yen will be increased and supply of dollars will be decreased in the foreign exchange market so when the supply of yen increased and supply of dollars decrease ultimately the equilibrium exchange rate will be maintained at a fixed level okay so i hope that you are able to understand that how central bank intervene in the foreign exchange market under a fixed exchange rate system clear thank you